This episode's FTR shoutout goes to Suba. Leave a comment down below if you have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. It's your boy Chris with Rapashi over here, my gecko. Yeah, she still has her tail. Where you going, bro? I'm just that good, I guess, of a gecko handler. My gecko is not evolving. I got the Everstone on him. Gonna stay a mud kip forever. Learn Hydro Pump at level 36. Hope your week is starting off just right. Happy Monday or Tuesday, depending on where you live. Really glad you can make it. If it's your first time here, this is the Monday show. This is where we all gather every Monday to review some fish tanks, the good, the bad, the very ugly, and enough memes to cover PewDiePie's meme review for like five episodes. <laughs> Not that many memes, actually. Without further ado, fish tank review. View. A few of my glass slash ghost cats refracting light. That is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in this hobby. I did not even consider that this would be possible. Are glass cats actually made out of glass? Because that's how glass refracts light, right? Remember in like grade 11, I think it's physics, you have that diagram where you shoot a singular point of light through this glass, out comes the rainbow. This is exactly what's happening. You can see the light source in the back shooting into directly into this glass cat. And what you're seeing on the other side is the spectrum of the rainbow. Nature is wild. Dang, nature. Indeed, that is reminding me of an RGB gaming keyboard or something like that. Just another wonder of our insanely amazing hobby. What an awesome picture, by the way. That's crazy. Give yourself a round of applause. Five out of five. Wow, are those RGB gaming fish? Razor Chroma Cats. <laughs> they are Pride Edition cats. <laughs> Species Pride. Gaming Tetra Fish just dropped. Tetra, 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 we in the in the i forgot but you can search up that song i made if you want tetra 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 we in a spot coming in hot ah so these are rainbow fish that's what i thought y'all like the first time i see the bosmani rainbows the peacock rainbows and stuff i'm like why are these called rainbow fish they only have like maximum three colors that's no different than like a rummy nose or neon tetra but i guess these glass cats when they're refracting the light these are true rainbow fish that's you can like taste the rainbow they got more rainbow than skittles what do you feel yours mine are very picky they've taken to thawed brine shrimp but they have to practically be hit in the face by it they pay no attention to anything that just floats at the top of the tank that is my experience with them as well it was a very huge pain to keep feeding them whenever we get them in my local fish stores that i worked at part of the reason why i never owned a school personally for myself but this is great advice if you were wondering if you wanted to keep some for yourself there you go be prepared for that a robo fish created by researchers at nyu poly it was left to interact with normal fish it was accepted by them and soon guided them as a leader. AI has gone too far. We thought that AI was going to take over humanity. No, just fish. By the way, how do you tell that it has started guiding them as their leader? I don't even know what that means. And what kind of fish was it? You know, picture didn't happen. This feels like straight claims, bro. By the way, lately, I think there's just been like an influx of new people watching FTRs and they don't know how to submit their fish tanks for review. There's basically two ways. You can go on petscore.com in the description below. The other one is to support me on Patreon. You'll get a Discord link to the FFT Discord Discord where you can submit your fish tanks or fish tank review, not to mention a lot of other perks as well. Thank you so much for my Patreon supporters. There's like over 200 of you now. I don't know what happened, but I'm super thankful for you guys. This channel quite literally wouldn't be here without you. This fish tank sent in Discord FFT, Shiba. It's a five gallon betta fish tank with three Nerei snails, a short finned koi looking betta. We got the fluval, what is that? Fluval spec? Haven't seen these in a hot minute. I don't know. I usually see flexes nowadays. And we got the aquarium co-op easy green fertilizers and root tabs. I see the Nerei's on the glass zebra nerites. I hope none of them are female because I've had my fair share of nerites spamming eggs all over all my decorations. My poor hardscape. Some of the plants in here might get a little too big for this tank, like the lotus. Make sure to keep it trimmed. But by far the sword is probably not that appropriate for this tank. Maybe try java fern or some bigger crypto corin. 4.15 out of 5. Keep it up. I don't need a bigger tank. My last fish lived three years. Wow, good for you. Check this out. Born in Japan, 1751 and died in July 7th, 1977. At a grand old age of 226, Koi Hanako was the oldest koi fish ever recorded. Can someone fact check me on this? Like that doesn't, that sounds crazy. I thought turtles had the highest like lifespan. That is not a tree or some kind of plant. I've never heard of a koi fish or any fish living to 226. Maybe anti-aging lies within the, the ocean creatures. That's right. Hydra are immortal effectively 
unless they get wrecked by a disease. Same thing with lobsters. All right, scientists, we know where to look now. In the deep, deep ocean. But don't ruin the ecosystem, please. Vortex GD sent in their 55-gallon native-looking fish tank with two sunfish and bluegill. I don't really know what those are. I think I have an idea of what sunfish are because I've seen them a few times. But bluegill, I don't know, is that a base? Some kind of cichlid fish. Some kind of native. I have no idea what I'm saying right now. Love the scape. I love that you're trying to have some live plants because these fish don't look like they're very forgiving about plants. I feel like they'll just wreck your aquascape no matter what kind of plants you use. Even Anubias. I love the woodscape and I love the rocks, keeping it really natural, but also very interesting, aesthetic. Nice big tank. I don't know how big these fish max out at, but I think you have a good chance of actually this being understocked. A 4.5 out of 5. Very rare to have, you know, bigger fish be treated properly and with a pretty darn good aquascape. Keep it up. Literally no one. Plecos. Yeah, who asked, bro? Why Why you gotta be so sticky? Why you gotta be so rude? Don't you know I'm a fish too? That's cringe, yo. Cut that out. Have you guys ever experienced a pleco sucking on your finger? <laughs> that sounds kind of nasty, y'all. But it is fun and it feels kind of cool. I highly suggest this experience for yourself. Just make sure it's your finger or hand or arm and not... Me, walks up, plecos. All right, see you next year. <laughs> yeah, for those of you confused, probably never owned a pleco before, or maybe a dwarf pleco, because I feel like bigger plecos don't do this, but dwarf plecos, they just go into hiding. They just like a smooth criminal. This is Edward Snowden. They did some whistleblowing or something, but they don't want to be seen. Like John Cena, you can't see him. Miller fan sent in their 20 gallon, two sword tails, Corey's pleco. I see the two sword tails, they look fabulous. I love that orange and black color, and I think it's a pair. It's a nice, simple, clean scape with a sponge filter and you're trying to hide the heater a little bit with your hardscape. That's like a moss tree. I love it. Some little Amazon swords, clean black substrate. Hopefully it is fertilized. If it's anything that swords need, it is some good ferts. And medium lighting that lasts a little longer. That's why they're kind of tricky. Four out of five, keep it up. Meets a new friend who likes fish. They have 73 goldfish and 26 angelfish in a, that is six times 10 to the negative one, two, three, four, five. Not quite molar mass, but... Yeah. LOL. They have to have friends though. Yeah, that's right. Friendship over everything. This is a Dom Toretto of the fish keeping world, except instead of family, it's friends. Finally, when you thought you found that friend and they turn out to be a fish abuser. Right, right in the feels, bro. <laughs> that's too hard. Axolotl. Eating the worm? Nah. Eating the worm after it fell out of the tweezers and my owner has tried and failed to pick it up with the tweezers. So they decided to just suck it up with a turkey bastard, put it out, put it back out onto a towel, then put it more securely inside of the tweezers. Man, Axolotl is just, they're a menace to society. They just want to see the world burn, don't they? Profile pic checks out. Hudson Bannock with a 10 gallon coral dwarf platies with seven fry. So there's like two parents in there and the rest of them are the parents offspring is what I'm understanding. Nice clean backdrop, bigger substrate with the bryophytic plants. So, you know, you can put Anubias and plants like those into a tank with any substrate, even no substrate at all, because they mainly take nutrients out of the water column. It does help once they're more established and their roots go into the nutrient rich substrate and tap into that nutrients, but it's not necessary. It does make them grow a bit healthier and faster though, but their Anubias look quite healthy already. And soon this whole tank is going to be overtaken with this coral dwarf platies. It's going to be a nice contrast from the red to the dark, more muted colors and the pops of green. 3.9 out of 5, keep it up. Congratulations on your batch. Children, any fish that looks gold, yellow, or orange. Is that a goldfish? It passes the color test. Ooh, give me a three gallon tank ASAP. Arcasen sent in this. Wow, this is, a, that's a looker. That's what it is. Just a little school of neon tetras. And we got this cube of green. This is a very nice picture as well. You can tell they know what they're doing. They have the whole room. The lights are all off. So there's no reflections on the glass and it's just high clarity stuff. It's not even an ADA fish tank. Just to prove that you don't need fancy glass to make a perfect, beautiful we got the pearl weed on the bottom. That's bonus points right there. We got some sasaliflora in the mid ground to the background and then background filled with valis. Very amazing choice because valis grows pretty tall and can really fill out the back of your fish tank. Agrophila panatophyta it looks like. There's no floaters up top but that's totally fine. I don't even see any algae. The tank is kind of like Wallstead method because it's very understocked. Neon tetras barely have any bio load. The problem isn't bio load. The problem is you know they like swimming. This is not the best dimension for neon 
Neon Tetras. It is a cube, while Neon Tetras like a bigger footprint. They like longer tanks. It is a beautiful scape through and through. 4.9 out of 5. Keep it up. Just been watching Breaking Bad and noticed the aquarium in the background. I have not noticed this aquarium. It looks like they're hiding some drugs in there, to be honest. Wouldn't be surprised, it's Breaking Bad. It feels like a terribly maintained or abandoned aquarium. It feels like a terribly maintained or abandoned aquarium is a staple in sad home situations. Actually, this might be uh, Jesse's parents' home right after he bought it. So I guess it makes sense because he's trying to move out of there. Maybe he's rehomed the fish. I don't know. Maybe we're just thinking too much about it. It's not that deep, yo. He's just a fish abuser, like he is abusing substances. Whoa, don't be so quick to judge, bro. That fish needs to learn how to walk because of how low the water is. <laughs> oh no, is that a black neon tetra? I swear, fish abusers are getting so creative with their stocking choice. Black neons are hardy, but not that hardy. True. You can't just do anything to it and expect it to live. Just got TikTok. It's an upgrade. The fish was in a bowl three times smaller. Man, that's the fish right there. How in the world do you get this small bowl, yet visibility is so bad that you can't even see through what little water there is? That has to be smelling disgusting. Absolute trailer trash up in here. I don't know how that's even possible that the fish is still alive. Just because a fish is hardy doesn't mean you should put it through the maximum amount of pain it can take. Like, come on. Is there like some website out there that everyone's going to for these tips? I can't believe that even though our society is so heavily dependent on just social media and information at your fingertips, there's still people just not even Googling how to keep a fish. I think those are goldfish pellets or some kind of fish food. And I want to bet like a lot of money. This person is going to just put like half of that into the fish bowl. That's probably why it's that color because this fish gets overfed AF. It doesn't need more food. It needs more space to swim. Hey guys, welcome back to the end of the episode. Thank you for your support. Thank you for staying all the way through pushing that algorithm. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And the question of the week is, what is your favorite drink? I know your fish's favorite drink, water. <laughs> Just not that water. All right, y'all, if you enjoyed this episode, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to get your hands wet. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin dot, acclimate that. With my shoal at, cure my fin rot from Karasiformis to Parachirodon. Hold on, there's not another fish that you can wish for. Live famsus, I finna one. I finna gone three days without furt. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.